good afternoon, everyone. My name is Roti Miedu. I'm the founder of Venue, an internet company that plans to revolutionize information sharing with this technology. Just before I jump into things, I'll give you my quick story. So I came into Gustavus four years ago, freshman. I got my first job with the Residential Life Services, and my job was hanging posters around campus. I bet you this is one of the most monotonous jobs you're ever going to hear of. <laughs> All I did was put solitaire behind posters and put them up. And I always used to think to myself, is there a better way for event sharing? It took two and a half years to come up with the solution. But I present to you the Venue app. The Venue app is a mobile sharing, is a mobile app that allows people on college campuses to share events efficiently, effectively, and as quick as possible. The Venue app is accessible and targeted to student organizations, offices, and departments on college campuses. The app has five major features. First feature is ability to view events in a feed, ability to save events to your profile, and best of all, ability to make videos while at events. I don't know about you, but as a college student, one of my biggest worries is knowing if an event is popping in college language before I get there. <laughs> Venue gives you the ability to know if the event is popping. <laughs> All you need to do is go on the Venue app and check the videos people make while at events and see what's going on at the event. We also have the ability to explore your campus by category and to get instant notifications when you make comments or videos on our app. The goal is for the Venue app to be a very user interactive platform. So as of today, the Venue app is currently up and running and you can download it on the Android store, on Google Play store rather, and on the Apple store. We've currently, we currently have over 100 downloads and this is within a span of eight days. We launched the app on this campus. Venue is available on the campus of Gustavus Adolphus College and on Carlton. The goal, as you see by this picture, is to be on every single Mayak campus in the next six months. The goal is to be on Bethel, Hamlin, and Augsburg by September of this month. And it's pretty simple. I would have a campus officer on every single campus who would be responsible for curating the app on that campus. The goal is to enhance people on all the Mayak campuses. I, I'm guessing most of you are Gustavus alumni. You may feel disconnected from this campus sometimes, but I tell you, the goal of the Venue app is to let people like you also see what's <coughs> happening at Gustavus. Not just Gustavus, but see what's happening at other Maya campuses. The goal also is to let people on other Maya campuses see what's happening at Gustavus. We want to reach out to people with our events. Every event has a story, and these stories will let people see what happens on those campuses. Oh, sorry, I'll go back. And as you can see, in fall 2018, the goal is to continue expansion in the Midwest region and also internationally. I have a representative on the, at the University of Bath in the UK who has passed out service on that campus and a few campuses in the UK. I'll speak later on the results we got on those surveys. So the management, I am the founder. I have spent over 800 hours building the first version of the Venue app. I also have the support of Mark Ross, who is a software developer in the Northfield area of Minnesota. Mark owns Launch 5 Media and has over 10, probably over 15 years of experience in software development. Mark and I have sort of a beneficial partnership in the sense that Mark is working on a similar project and his project is a messaging platform that uses some of the similar software features the Venue app uses. So the goal is while developing the Venue app in the future, Mark and I share costs together, it's simple. He pays half, I pay half, we get benefit 100%. So Mark has a team of Carlton developers in Northfield and it, 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 it helps him out in the sense that it's somewhat uh, affordable and he trains them and the goal is to have these developers work on our future builds. So there is not one venue app. The goal is to constantly keep improving the app. We're gonna to have to keep releasing different builds every three months. So competition, you may think, this doesn't sound so new. You're right. <laughs> there are actually a few uh, event sharing apps that are on multiple campuses 
most notably Clock, Bump, and Toga. I must tell you though, these apps are mainly marketed towards parties. The goal of Venue App is not to be the party app, but at the same time, we don't want to be a boring college calendar where you say, okay, May 25th, this is happening, no. We want to be what I call the in-between. That's what Venue plans to be. Our identity and our philosophy would help us stand out from the pack. We believe together with our technology and philosophy, Venue will go one step further and let events tell stories about college campuses. Let events tell stories about every campus organization who has an event. So revenue model, simple. We built the app. Okay, yeah, so now, how do we make money? Uh, we do not ever plan on charging students. Uh, the goal is to make this cheaper, faster, and better for you. So why should we charge you? The goal is to get people in town. You've probably walked around this campus. What you'll notice is there's not a single ad from companies around town. We have a lot of nice restaurants. You've heard of Patty's probably. Probably had lunch there. You've heard of Stella's Bar. There are few places in town who want to be able to market to this campus. And those places are highly frequented by students. The goal is to give these people the platform to reach out to students at what I call a small fee. And that's how we do it. <laughs> so if you want to find out more about Venue, visit our website, venueapp.com, V-E-N-E-W, venueapp.com, and you can download the app from the website. Uh, yeah, and this is just some feedback from students. And I said we passed out a survey in the UK, and we passed it out at a few colleges, and give people a sort of taste of what our app is <coughs> like. Only 5% of people that answered those surveys said they would not download the venue app. 5%. Mm -hmm. We have 95% of the college market in the UK, potentially. <coughs> but that's the goal, to go to the UK where there's not currently a single app that helps with event sharing on those campuses, and also keep continually expanding here in the US. Thank you very much. Questions? First of all, um, congratulations on being a true entrepreneur because when I saw it, I first downloaded the app and it worked well and it was great. So that's, that's uh, a great accomplishment to do in the middle of trying to finish your school. Um, and so when you look forward to finding the ambassadors or whatever on each campus, how do you anticipate recruiting those people and retaining them year after year? Good question. So the venue website would eventually be a news forum for college campuses. You have CNN, you have all these big news websites, but there's a lot <coughs> happening. You've probably heard of what was happening us in all of last week. But there's not one source to view all this feed. We plan on having people who would write for the venue website. And these people would be the curators of the venue. Uh, just two weeks ago, I was at Carlton, had lunch with a few people. That's how I was able to get my curator at Carlton. Simple. They're human beings. I just need to go there, grab a drink, crack a few jokes, one, two. If they laugh, I'm good. <laughs> how are you uh, going to sell the advertising? So, we use mainly social media, and this was one of the challenges, you know, started up, is we plan on helping solve and make an event sharing more sustainable. So we don't plan on using any flyers, any paper, you'll never see venue on a paper, it just doesn't go together, it has to be on the phone. But um, we use social media mainly, and Instagram is gonna be a big thing with the hashtags. So every venue campus will have their own hashtag. Venue Gustavus, Venue Carlton, and we would try and give incentives through the hashtags for people to know what's going on. And it's pretty easy. If we can get into five Maya campuses, the other three campuses don't want to be left out. So it makes the model, the cross integration, just it makes it so fluent and hopefully it would be very helpful. Have you explored value added services that the, the universities and colleges might actually you know, pay for to help? Uh, yes, yes, I have, I have thought about that. I can assure you in the short term, we would not go through that route because um, the goal is just to get the colleges to love us as much as they can. Um, we don't plan on contracting through any college, so it's going to be run by venue, by venue. You know, just make things easier for the college. They don't have to deal with that. Thank you.